obviously there are times in life and, and in sport as well that you, you, are really, you really have something to say to someone that you might not necessarily feel comfortable saying. I know for us um, that happens quite regularly in netball. Um, when people aren't, aren't behaving in the way that's the best for the team. Um, and sometimes these are your really close friends that are doing that. So it's pretty hard to make sure you, or it's pretty hard to have a hard conversation with one of your closest friends around um, what they're doing wrong. Uh, or anyone in general. But I, I got told last year that if I ever have that feeling in my tummy where you're a bit nervous about having a conversation to someone about something that's annoying you, you cannot ignore that feeling and you have to make sure that you have that conversation. And that conversation isn't you talking to someone else about them. That conversation isn't you yelling at them about what's going on. It's finding a way to be able to discuss this with that person that you both benefit from. Okay, so it's finding, making sure that you are still, you know, it's very easy to yell at someone about something they're doing wrong. But is that going to give you the right result? Probably not. So for me, I, I've learned that phrasing these conversations and not ignoring the need to have these conversations probably been the biggest, another one of the biggest things that I learned um, over the last couple of years. And I was always afraid to have this conversation, particularly with my, my closest friends in the team. But after doing it and, and living by this and acting by this over the last two years, I've found that they actually respect me more by coming to them and discussing this, and discussing this with them. So I, I think for you guys, it's something to be really aware of. And as you grow up into, into leadership roles, it's kind of a challenging thing to do but it's something that I think you will really benefit from. But there are other ways, you know, obviously you need to know how to phrase these conversations, but it's, it's just making sure that you're not being aggressive to the person that you're speaking to and are, are willing to listen to their side of, of the story as well.